Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all okay. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple of local um, communication sites in or on Werner's Low, which is some high ground uh, between Stockport and Hyde. I think it actually falls into Hyde. Um, and there's quite a lot of communications history, uh, if you like, up on this hill. Um, it is quite popular with radio users um, using CB, PMR and of course the amateur bands as well. Um, myself being one of them, um, I come up here uh, as and when I can to play a little bit of radio. And the scenery is lovely, you can see right across Manchester. Uh, I'm filming today on, on, it's a horrible day really, it's just rainy and cloudy, there's quite a lot of low lying cloud and fog. But you can see here the scenery is just um, brilliant. On a clear day, you can see Winter Hill, you can see Holmos Transmitter as well. Uh, you can see North Wales and the North Wales Mountains and things like that. So it's, it's really good um, and it's a nice place to come. So I thought I'd show you a couple of the interesting places up here. One of them is really, really intriguing, which I'll come to in a little while. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is this, what you can see here now, which is a Royal Observer Corps post. And basically what these posts were designed for, they were, they were all over the UK, thousands of them in clusters. And they'd have a central um, command post where they transmitted data to. And what they were for is to look out for enemy aircraft during the Cold War and also in the event of a nuclear attack measure radiation levels so the um, UK government could plot where an atomic bomb had hit the UK and look at where um, the highest levels of radiation were so this post you can see here um, opened in December 1962 and closed in October 1968 so it wasn't actually active for that long some of them closed in 1991 um, and were open a lot longer uh, the Royal Observer Corps was disbanded in 1991 and the posts were, were shut um, at the end of the Cold War so this post is actually nothing inside anymore but it would have had beds in and all sorts of uh, communications equipment, survival equipment, fuel, food, beds, blankets and all sorts to keep the crew inside alive. Uh, I'm not going to go into a proper history of the ROC, the Royal Observer Corps because there's plenty of information um, on the internet around that but I just thought I'd show you this, uh, this, um, this post while we're parked next to it. So what we'll do now is we'll move a little bit further up the road and I'll show you a couple of other interesting um, points. Okay, so I found this interesting um, bit of equipment while I was mooching around on Warner's Low a couple of years back. And it's in the grounds of Hyde Cricket and Squash Club. And what it is, is a direction finding antenna or directional um, array. So there's antennas around the outside, which um, triangulate signals and feed them to the dish in the middle. And it's hard to find out much information about this thing. I have put things up before asking um, people's... Um, opinions on what this actually is and it's quite a varied sort of um, answer that comes back so i'm just curious as to what's being monitored from it apparently it's connected to ofcom's site at baldock down uh, in i think it's in buckinghamshire and it's feeding information or data back to that monitoring center there's not a lot on the internet about um, Baldock so if anyone knows anything about it anyone works there or has worked there then um, drop a comment in the box below but it'd be interesting to know what they're actually monitoring it's definitely not the amateur bands are monitoring I wouldn't have thought they'd put something in place like that for PMR and um, the business bands there isn't really any pirate radio stations in Manchester anywhere so I can't see it being for commercial um, uh, pirate stations um, or you know commercial complaints against pirate stations because as far as I'm aware the pirate stations that um, were in Manchester have all now gone if there is any left they're definitely not part-time um, and I've never heard them I think they, they died out in the sort of early 2000s so it would be interesting guys if anyone knows what this is used for anyone um, has any idea at all or any suggestions then drop it uh, drop me a comment in the box below I have seen some pictures from the armed forces actually using these so it's quite an interesting piece of kit i've never seen anybody using it and the site looks a little bit sort of disheveled but it's definitely still in use there's definitely power to the um, array itself and there's a little box at the bottom as you can see in the clips that i'm showing here that house um, equipment in there so it'd be interesting to know what that's actually monitoring guys and, and you know what Ofcom if it is used by Ofcom what they are listening out for um, so yeah drop me a comment in the box below 
what we'll do now is we'll head a little bit further up the road and I'll show you the last um, little place of interest uh, for communications up on Warnerth Low. Okay, so this is uh, the transmitter site on top of Werneth Low, and this place has always intrigued me. There's always little antennas and things coming and going from up here, so definitely still in use. What they are is ex-home office towers. So these would have provided police and fire communications from, I would think, probably the 1950s onwards. Um, anyone watching this knows uh, different than let me know. Um, but they are in use now. Police, the police still have antennas up here. You can see folded four-stack dipoles there, which are Tetra Airwave antennas. You can see those on the mast as well. There's microwave dishes, um, and there's also sort of white stick antennas, which are used by taxi companies and skip companies and. Uh, community repeaters and things like that so there's definitely plenty going on up here um, I, there's very little information online um, about this site there is a couple of cell antennas up here for cellular networks but there's very little um, on um, the internet about this site I'll try and show you here there's a little what looks like another little direction antenna on the top which has four four or five antennas sticking up in, in one array so if anyone technical who's watching this video knows what that is then please let me know but there's all sorts of antennas and dishes and things up here i've never actually seen anybody on the site but it's definitely definitely in use um, and it's quite an interesting little site uh, and as i say there's always stuff appearing um, on these masts which is which is good as well so yeah that's the uh, that's the last uh, thing i'm going to show you now unless i see anything else on the way down um, that I forgot to mention, but that's the transmitter site up on Werneth Low. So, drop me a comment in the box below, guys. Let me know what you think. Tell me what some of these antennas are doing, especially the uh, the the dome, the dome one in the cricket club. That's really really interesting one. I've I've always wondered. I would love to know what they're actually monitoring with that, and if it's still in use, and if there's any others. If you know, if, if any of you guys live near any other any of these sites um, elsewhere in the UK, then you know, send me a picture of it or do a video on it that would be great um, but yeah what are they actually monitoring who knows uh, definitely not the amateur bands anyway uh, that's clear to see from from the offcom video i did lately so yeah right guys i'll leave that one here um and i'll say 73 for now if you've not already give this video a thumbs up then hit the thumbs up button drop me a comment in the box below as i've said and uh, if you're not already subscribed then hit the subscribe button there's loads and loads of radio videos coming up i've got plenty of um Plenty of radios and network radios coming through over the next few weeks, so make sure you stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, 73 for now. Okay guys, on the way down, I found two more things that I wanted to show you. First one is this, which is a uh, another communications tower just down the road from the main transmitter site in the golf club car park. There's all sorts of stuff on here for microwave, uh, microwave link, point to point microwave links, there's cellular antennas on there, and there's also VHF and UHF commercial traffic antennas on there. For, skip hire, um, taxis, things like that, other, other businesses. Um, yeah, plenty going on there. I don't think it's as old as the uh, the main transmitter site, but it's definitely an old one. Uh, it looks like a sort of like a late, a late home office type uh, mast. But that's the first one. And the second one, the last one, is this stunning uh, red phone box. You don't see many of these out on the, uh, on the road at the moment. I wonder what that means. Oh, it's a mess. You see the original number there. But unfortunately, it is in a bit of a uh, state of disrepair, this one. And it's inhabited. Cheers, guys.